Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog. Hot corners are super handy shortcuts on the Mac to do specific actions just by jerking your mouse or your cursor to the corner of your screen. I have it set to reveal my desktop to the top corner, start a screensaver to the bottom corner, but Apple recently brought this over to the iPad, and in fact with iOS 13.3, which we just covered in the last video, it's brand new iPadOS in general brought mouse support for the iPad, which I've covered in a past video that you can watch, but now new dwell and hot corner features are here for the iPad with iPadOS 13.3, and let's take a look at it. So again, you'll have to go into accessibility touch and assistive touch settings, and you can connect your Bluetooth device here or in the general Bluetooth settings on your device. Once you have that set up, you can modify the buttons on your mouse and customize a couple of the different controls, uh, such as the keys and the pointer style and more. But what we're looking at in here is the dwell feature and the dwell control. So basically you rely on this dwell or kind of a hover feature in other words to activate any of the four corners on the iPad in a reverse way that the Apple Pencil screenshot method works. You can adjust the dwell from a quarter of a second up to eight seconds, increasing it at a quarter of a second at a time. Now you can also adjust the fallback action and the movement tolerance if you want to adjust those, which will affect what the mouse does when it's stationary for that set amount of time that we just talked about. But I think this is a little glitchy right now because I haven't been able to replicate the results of what this actually does. But in theory, it'll allow you to never click on your mouse. You just simply let the cursor hover over something and it'll automatically select it after that certain amount of time. Regardless, with this setup, we can now go into the hot corners. And of course, you get four corners, and there's a surprising amount of options for each. So I have mine set for the left corner to go to the app switcher, while the top right corner to go home, which sort of works as the desktop feature on my Mac. And if you go down to the bottom corners, I have the bottom left for volume down and the bottom right for volume up. But you can see that there's a whole lot of controls, from notifications to lock rotation, to screen lock, to Siri, to restarting, which seems a little dangerous, but you can also scroll up or down or to the very top or bottom of the page, or you can scroll from right to left, which will be great in different documents and editing applications, for instance. And finally, you have Siri shortcut support, which is killer. You can set any shortcut, any app, any sequence of events just by dragging the mouse to the corner of your screen. So if you're always launching notes or music or always checking a particular stock or anything even completely different. You can do all those actions just from a hot corner. And the more you explore shortcuts, the more you can see how powerful this could be. And to activate it just by going into the corner of your screen is really, really cool and very new. So hot corners are kind of weird because they do require the dwell feature and Apple is still making mouse support a little strange in general for the iPad. Still no traditional mouse cursor nor adjustment settings for scrolling, etc. But hot corners are a fun step in the right direction to add mouse control and more control in general and utility to the iPad and makes it a tiny step closer to its own software that is differentiated from standard iOS. So anyway, this is Dwell and Hot Corners for iPad. It's really cool. I recommend trying it out and checking out some of the other coverage we've done. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.